Lastly, we're going to name amines and nitriles. So what we do is just number from the amine, and we're going to call this a Oh, dang it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Butanamine, propanamine, propylamine, and then oxobutane. I just dropped out of the nitrile. Okay. All right. Sorry. This is going to be. Let me just start over. <laughs> now we're going to name amines and nitriles. We'll start with the amine here. Numbering from the amine, it's a three carbon unit, and so we're going to call this propanamine. Almost like the, the way we named the carboxylic acid derivative amides, propanamide or whatever, this is propanamine. Now, if the amine is subs substituted, then this is still going to be a propanamine, but it's going to be an NN. Dimethyl propanamine, propanamine, and uh, that's kind of how amines work. Lastly, nitriles. Uh, what we want to do actually is because nitriles, this compound is uh, sp specifically kind of unique, but nitriles take precedence over anything below them in our priority here. And so since nitriles are above ketones, this ketone in the compound here is going to be a substituent. And so we're going to start numbering with the nitrile, in fact, with the carbon of the nitrile itself. So we're going to number one, two, three, four. And this is going to be a 3-oxo and then what we want to do is name the parent chain, the chain of carbons, and so it's going to be a 3-oxo butane nitrile. So, kind of like when we did our, the organometallic thing, uh, kind of like when we did those or, or did other things where we included the E there, 3-oxo butane nitrile.